for it here in front of the boat. But <laughs> that's that's heavy duty right there. Now watch the hang time. He'll straighten out the plane. It just floats kind of even, and then boom. Pretty as a picture. There he is right there. Fantastic. Now, folks, I'm going to get in on the, the radio here in just a moment and introduce you to Steve so you get a chance to hear his story. Just a moment, folks. Okay, guys. Go ahead and take it like Yeah, one video. Oh. Alpha, this is Discovery 3. Hello, Steve. How are you? Good afternoon. Hey, Steve, thanks for dropping in on us today. We sure appreciate it. Why don't you share with our friends on the boat how you got started in aviation? Because uh, I heard that you learned how to fly a plane before you could even drive a car. Yes, I was uh, actually raised out on the Yukon River out in western Alaska. I've been uh, piloting these aircraft since I was a teenager. My dad was a pilot and instructor. I also had sled dogs out on the Yukon and tried my hand at the Iditarod race in 1980. Then in 91, I moved to Fairbanks, became an aircraft mechanic. So now I work on these aircraft full time when I'm not. As you can imagine, we uh, have more planes also per capita in our state than anywhere else. It's pretty amazing how aviation plays such a key role in the development of our state. You can stop talking and forget I love the takeout. Here it comes. Actually, a pretty good indicator of folks in Alaska in general. 